Right, I'm just working in uh, Northampton at the minute and something I noticed last time I was here and it absolutely blew my mind. Let me turn this round. Right, today, shower. What we've got on this one is an issue with the shower and you can see where this board has just been leaking through. Right then, that shower tray. Um, right, so what's happened is seems to be a week where I'm just having fucking shit, really, <laughs> to put it bluntly. It's just really sort of, sort of baffled me a little bit. Straight off, Dave, come on, instantly. <laughs> Right, so this week, um, it's going to be a bit of a shorter video this week, only because the two jobs or three jobs I had this week have just turned into a bit of a nightmare, one of them especially. So, slightly shorter Sunday video. I know a lot of you want a longer video on a Sunday, but sorry, it's going to be a bit shorter this week. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, thanks for subscribing. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, drop me a comment below if um, there's anything in this video that you, that you want to know about. And there's a bit of a... When you watch it, there's an issue with a pump at the end of it, which is quite interesting. Um, that I've never had this in this this happen to me on a pump before, um, and I've also asked a couple of other um, plumbers about it, and they've never had it before. So it'd be interesting to have a bit of feedback on that. See what's what. Where are you going, Dave King? Sensation. <laughs> right today, shower. What we've got on this one is an issue with the shower. Um, the bottom number of tiles or where it's grouted has come away and is leaking down through the back of the shower, through the ceiling, down into the kitchen below. So I'll spin it around in a minute and show you exactly what we mean. But what we're gonna have to do is take this shower cubicle out completely, take the bottom row of tiles off, maybe the first two or three rows of tiles off and reboard behind it and uh, completely retile it and go from there. So I'll spin it around and we'll show you. Right, so all we've got is, as you can see, look, see that big grout line that's just opening up now. What we're gonna have to do is take this screen off, take it all out, take the tiles off and um, assess what's going on from there really. So we'll get that done. We'll get start getting this, this screen out. Right then, so we've got the profile, the shower out, got the profiles to come off next. We just unscrew them off. A um, little bit fiddly, because this shower actually bolts into the tray, which is a new one on me. But always keep all the fittings together, because you're bound to lose them. So we'll get them off, then we'll take them two tiles off, possibly all the way around and see what's going on behind. I, I, I expect the boards to be behind to be absolutely falling apart. Um, causing that. Wow, what a ball like that was. Getting those profiles off, absolute nightmare. Um, and a lot of the tiles are broke behind it anyway. But behind here, there's no boarding, you can see there. So they're gonna have to replace quite a few of these tiles, I think. Um, right, we'll get some off and see what's uh, going on behind them. Right, so we've taken off a few tiles here, and you can see where this board has just been leaking through. I think these are going to be the worst ones here. So we'll get these off now. And it's got to go all the way up to, to there, really, because they're all cracked and, and stuff. So we'll get them off. Oh, it literally just falls off, doesn't it? But this, you can see how damp, oh, you can feel how damp it is. So obviously the woman, the water was getting through there and just seeping down, but it's just completely falling apart. Literally just pulling them off again. Oh yeah, see. Right, so that's those tiles off, and then one's along the back there. 
Right, there we go then. So we've got the boards in, patched in, um, put a dab put on there, ready for now for Tyler to come tomorrow and get that retiled. We've got all the tiles down here to do it. So we get that redone um, and you can see literally where the water had been going down, down the back there. So that's all sealed in or will be sealed in by the time it's tiled and siliconed up. So uh, hopefully we'll get it all back in tiled tomorrow and then I'm here Friday to get the screens and that back on. But you always know, I've took the old screens off and done my best to try and keep a keep all the bits together and oh they come apart fairly well so I'm hoping that uh, they'll go back in fairly uh, easily right then that shower tray um, right so what's happened is I priced up um, to do that shower tray um, to remove the bottom part of it and to basically take the tiles off wherever's loose and whatnot take off um, and when I sort of went to price it, halfway up the tiles seemed fine and this, that and the other. So we took, we exposed all the bottom bit, cut all the board out, um, made good the walls, made good the boards. But what it is now, the tile has turned up to do it and basically the whole wall going along the, the side of it, is the plaster on it is just coming off. So to cut a long story short, basically what the customer is going to do now is they're going to have the toilet out, sink out, take all the tiles off, have the whole walls re-skimmed, um, re-boarded, the full height in the t in the shower area. So basically, just a complete retile of the bathroom, um, and in that shower area, you're just going to take all the take all the tiles off, put the boarding up the whole way, um, and just do it completely. Because um, they were just a little bit concerned that you're going on to still bad walls and stuff like that, but. You know, I said to them, I could only price in what I thought it was going to be, but some customers understand that, some customers don't. So we're going to have to reassess it and um, and go from there on that one. So turned into a bit of a pain, really, because time-wise, I'm I'm pretty stuck time-wise. But they're willing to wait, which is good. So on the flip side, it freed up um, Friday to get to one of the jobs that I've been ticking off my list. So it's a mate of mine down in Northampton. Um, so it's like a 45 mile journey there, so it's like give or take 100 mile round, round trip um, to go and swap his shower out, he's got an issue with his shower so we'll go down there now, I'm just on my way, just grab the coffee so we'll head down there now and um, go and see what's wrong with this and get it swapped out for the new one Right, so what we've got on here is, I've just taken that off but Take the heads off, we've basically got to change the shower valve. So we've got to take the heads off, like so. Take this back plate off and expose the shower. Hopefully, we can get to the uh, screws this side, but the other side the airing cupboard. So we've got pretty good access that side. It's just whether we can get the access we need from the front. So we'll get this off and go from there. So the answer to it is sort of, <laughs> we can get to maybe a couple of the screws, but we basically, I think we're gonna to have to trim out a bit more around it to get access to get that one undone. Or we'll go from the airing cupboard the other side, which is here, and unscrew these buttons off. Because as you can see, we can sort of get to the back of it there. But we'll have to have a look. Right, so we've managed to get the valve out of there, which was sighted like that. So we've got that out, and this is the new one to go in. It's gonna go that way. So what we're gonna to have to do is alter a bit of the tile in there. That's gotta sit in within there. Luckily the top, the rose and the, the body shower jet on the top is in position, but it's just the bottom ones we're gonna to have to alter slightly. So, I'll have a bit of a play around with that. Right, so this, um, it seems to be a week where I'm just having fucking shit, really, <laughs> to put it bluntly. But anyway, we've had problems with this shower for ages. We've moved the pump, we've put uh, S flanges on it, we've put this, that, it kept, just kept pulsing. So what we did a few months ago, I disconnected the pump, put a hose onto the pump, turn the pump on and it basically pumped fine no pulsing nothing 
So we put so we put it down to the shower, the actual valve. So we spent the day swapping the shower, put a new shower valve in, connected it all up, and it's still pulsing. And I'm like, what the what what's going on? You know when you get to a point where you just so turn to Google, Googled it a little bit. Now this is the bit I can't understand. It says to throttle down the feed to it, basically turn the isolation valves down because it's getting too much pressure. Now, it might be dead simple, but I've never come across this in 25 years. Basically, restrict the flow to the pump and it will stop it pulsing. So, so basically what we've done is, the feed's going into the pump, we've basically turned down the ISO valves halfway and it stopped, it stopped it pulsing for some reason. Now, I might be being stupid, but I just don't understand how it's done that. Um, but it's done it. So it's now working pretty much as it should. But if anyone's ever had this, or, or I'm just being absolutely stupid and, and whatever, I, I, don't, I don't get it. So it is literally, wait for the pump to kick in. When it does, there you go. And it just works fine. Before it was just cutting in and out and in and out. It's got an S flange in it or a Warwick flange. Um, it's the right height from the, the bottom of the tanks. So it's just pulsing. So it turns out if you ever get stuck and the shower's pulsing, try throttling it down. But it has really sort of tested my head a little bit. Um, so this week's just been my own week, really. But we'll get all tidied up. Fair play, Dan. He's gone to make me a bacon sandwich, so it's not all bad. Right, let's get tidied up. Right, I'm just working in uh, Northampton at the minute and something I noticed last time I was here and it absolutely blew my mind. Let me turn this round. Right, this thing here drives all the way along the path delivering food from the shops and stuff. Absolutely. People like ring up a subway, yeah, I'll have it delivered to your house. They're just bowling around on the street. It's fucking mental. I can't believe I actually caught that. Lip, coming over to do this job, I um, I said to my missus, I went, if I see one of them things knocking around on the street, I'm gonna try and video it. And as I've pulled out from this job at my mates, it's drove past me. So I've literally just flew up the road, spun round to record it. It's crazy, so you, you, as far as I can tell, ring up Subway or whoever, or the local shop or whatever, right, I want my groceries or a fucking, club sandwich or whatever and this thing goes to subway you put your food in it hit your address and it drives along the path to wherever you are and drops it off Fucking mental absolutely mental but robots robots delivering your food now what's next so i've just popped into plum base on my way home and there was another plumber in there um, and i told him about this issue with this shower and I sort of gave him a breakdown of, right, this is what's in, this is how it's piped up, this is what it's doing, what, what would you say it was? And he went, air or a blockage or something like that. At no point did he think, by oh, just throttling them uh, ISOs down, that um, it, it would stop the pulsing. So it's just really sort of, sort of baffled me a little bit. So just let me know in the comments below if you've ever had that, um, a shower pulsing like that. But I should have videoed what, exactly what it was doing. But I just got I just got sucked into the job. I just wanted to get it done because it was beginning to do my head in. But no, interesting, uh, interesting that another plumber's never had that before either. And sort of baffled him when I told him just by restricting the flow going in, then uh, it, it cured the cured the problem. Straight off, Dave. Come on, instantly. Like, subscribe, comment below. It's all about Mark Tiff, the YouTube sensation. <laughs>